The Hamas terror group on Thursday officially accused Israeli spy agency Mossad of carrying out last year's assassination of Mohammed Al-Zori, a Tunisian aviation scientist and engineer who developed the terror group's unmanned drones. In a press conference in Beirut, Hamas official Mohammed Natsal said, We are absolutely certain that the Mossad is responsible for the assassination of Zori. Get the Times of Israel's daily edition by email and never miss our top stories. Free sign up. He added that the Mossad had received help from other security services, but he did not elaborate on who they were. Natsal said the accusation was the result of Hamas's own investigation in the scientist's death. However, the Hamas official's narrative of the alleged assassination was built almost entirely off of details released by Tunisian officials following the incident in December 2016, including that the killers had posed as two foreign journalists. In the Hamas version, the two journalists, who used their alleged work as a way to get close to Zori and scope out his neighborhood, claimed to have Bosnian citizenship. The two assassins were using Bosnian passports, Natsal said. Israeli Foreign Ministry spokesman Emmanuel Nashin declined comment. Israel has previously faced criticism after its agents reportedly used British, Irish, Australian and other passports to assassinate a Hamas leader in the United Arab Emirates in 2010. That led to Britain, Ireland and Australia expelling some Israeli diplomats in protest. Mohamed Ziwari, the Tunisian engineer, who was assassinated by Israeli occupation forces in Tunisia in 2016, Pick.twitter.com Zog 3 Iajaj 4, Hamas movement at Hamas Info In November 16, 2017 Tunisian newspapers had rushed to blame Mossad for the killing of Zori, who was shot dead at point-blank range in his car outside his home in the Tunisian city of SFAX. Hamas at the time had already blamed Israel for Zori's death but had not yet pointed the finger at the Mossad. Rather than vowing a military response to the alleged assassination, Natsal said the report on Zori's death would be handed over to Hamas's legal team, which would then study various options for confronting Israel. The Hamas official explained it wasn't up to the terror group alone to open up a new military front with Israel, and that such a decision belongs to all the Palestinian factions. Hamas is currently in a reconciliation process with its rival party Fatah, which controls the Palestinian Authority. In the context of this reconciliation process, Hamas leaders have said the decision of when to go to war with Israel should be a collective decision. Israel never responded to the accusation by Hamas that it was behind Zori's death. A picture taken on December 20, 2016 in Gaza City shows a Palestinian man walking past a banner depicting a portrait of Mohammed al-Zori, who was murdered in Tunisia on December 15, 2016. AFP MAHMUD Ham's defense minister Evigdor Lieberman played coy when speaking about the killing. If someone was killed in Tunisia, he's not likely to be a peace activist or a Nobel Prize candidate. Lieberman said last December, Zori is the second person this year that Hamas has claimed Israel assassinated. In May, Hamas accused Israel's internal security service, the Shin Bet, of assassinating Mazen Faka, who was responsible for planning terror attacks against Israelis from the West Bank. AFP contributed to this report.